Hey guys, my name is Regina. I'm an Austrian singer and songwriter and I just released my first single today. And today I want to talk a little about how we made the music video because that was a complete DIY project. I made it together with my sister. We had no budget whatsoever. The video cost us 50 euros altogether. We had no previous experience in making music videos, so we were just, you know, figuring it out as we went along. If you're a musician as well, if you're looking for a little bit of advice from someone who, you know, was just learning by doing, stick around and watch this video till the end because I'm just gonna tell you everything I know now that I wish that I had known before. <laughs> wanted to do, the equipment that we used, the production day, the post-production and all of our lessons learned. So let's dive into the concept. So the song was ready, it was mixed and mastered and I really loved the song, how it sounded and all of my budget went into mixing and mastering. But it was time to think about visuals and my sister you know, she owns a camera and so I was just asking her, you want to shoot this video with me? Do you want to make it to totally low budget? And she was on board. So in the beginning, thinking about a concept was really hard for me because you've got these endless possibilities and all of these amazing videos on YouTube and you just wish you could do everything. But in the end, it really just comes down to knowing what you can and what you can't do. As we had no previous experience and no money, we just decided to take a camera and put it on a tripod and basically call it a day and just hope that whatever is happening in the frame is interesting enough to make up for a lack of camera movement. We also did not own any fancy lights or we did not have a great place to shoot indoors so we just opted to shoot outdoors we had two really beautiful locations that I I just liked a lot and I'm really happy how it turned out so my first lesson learned right in the beginning is try out everything that you want to do beforehand for example I wanted to have a lot of slow motion but our camera was not good enough for that that slow motion shoots, so all of them turned out super blurry. So try try those things out, you know, go outside and try it, try out what you want to do and also bring an extra person with you. We were just the two of us and my sister actually, she filmed and she also handled the smoke torches because I was just sitting there not moving. And on the, the third shooting day, actually the one that we had, had to do because the second one turned out horribly, we took an extra person with us um, just to handle the smoke, you know, to do all of that that my sister couldn't because then she could handle the camera and then she could make sure that everything um, turned out fine and not blurry. The equipment we used is basically really simple. We were using a Canon M50 and a tripod, a chair, a plastic sheet and smoke torches and that was everything. On to production, initially we planned to have two shooting days, we had two locations that we wanted to shoot at, the first one was in a forest and the second one was in a quarry. So in the forest 
the things that I wanted to shoot were me singing to the song in various positions, me and the smoke torch, and we had sort of this idea where we were using a plastic sheet to just tie that around the trees and then you know, have the wind come through it and it's moving really beautifully and me just basically standing in front of it or behind it. A lot of the video is very static because that, what, that was what I wanted to go for. And so in the end, I did not really like a lot of the shots that we did there, but I'm just going to talk about that later on. On the second day at the quarry, actually the concept was pretty similar. We took a lot of shots of me singing, you know, sitting down, standing, just singing, and we also did something with the smoke torches. Okay, on to post-production. We color graded in Lightroom, which was the only thing that we knew how to handle. And my sister did all of the color grading, so I was just sitting there and you know, commenting how I would like the picture to look. I was going for a very a dark picture and yeah, I just don't like it if it looks happy, I guess. So I, I was trying to, you know, get the colours a bit down and, and get this. It, it's got a bit of a Halloweeny vibe to it. I, I I don't know if that's if you can imagine what I'm what I'm saying. I don't know. So and I wanted to cut it myself and I did that in my movie. And that was probably the biggest challenge because I had this video in mind where everything was, you know, coming to get to all of those pictures that we had, sort of going into a story, having that flow, and that just was not happening. I, I had all of these, these these shots that we we had, and they just did not come together, like going from one to the other it just seemed so weird and so off. And what basically saved me was that I could just crossfade it and I discovered this feature completely by accident but having this tool of fading the pictures together and only having them for a short period of time I'm just gonna blend in, in the video so you, you can see what I'm talking The, the frame just was not right, or the angle that I saw myself just did not feel good. It, it just felt really odd, or it was too close, or too creepy. So we had a lot of these shots with the smoke torches, and they looked really, really beautiful. And I, I actually wanted to save them for the last part of the song, because it's got two parts, and the second one is a choir part, and it starts really... You know, quiet and soft and just builds up afterwards and I thought that it would be really cool to have the smoke come in there and you know just building and building but that just did not happen and so I started and just used the smoke right from the beginning and I also used a lot of crossfading where I just you know had the smoke come from this side and from this side and just blend it together that the smoke would go like that or that's actually the things that saved me reversing slow motion I did a lot of that in post-production instead of you know going in when we shoot not shooting in slow motion but actually slowing it down afterwards in post-production and blending it all together yeah so <laughs> I guess that that's kind of everything I I did add some lyrics afterwards I was not sure if I was gonna do that or if it would be fine on its own but I kind of felt that with it not having a story or not having 
you know, the sort of flow that it's evolving so much. I felt that it had to have this extra thing to it, like having the lyrics there and the lyrics blending in and out and I put the video in a frame and I had the, the lyrics, you know, on top and on sideways. Yeah, that's something that I, I really like, that, that I really like that.